Transport Aircraft Mall at Sun Fun 2009. And uh, what is this airplane? This one is the Apollo North America Apollo Fox. It's actually a Hungarian design that is now significantly fabricated in the United States. Matter of fact, right here in Florida, and matter of fact, not far away at a place called Zephyr Hills Airport. It looks a lot like a Kit Fox. It does have a lot of resemblance to the Kit Fox, no question. And indeed, uh, the Kit Fox, of course, came from a Dean Wilson design that most people know as the Avid Flyer. And that's where many, including the Kit Fox, stemmed from. This is an example of that, but it's been pretty significantly changed. One of the changes that they've made to this airplane is if you compare the vertical tail fin of this to some of the other designs that bear the Fox label, you'll see this one's a little larger, and indeed, I just flew it about uh, three or four weeks ago. It does have some very nice flying characteristics thanks to that change. Now, let's talk a little bit about the construction of the aircraft. Uh, we were talking earlier about a composite airplane. This is not composite. No, this is, well, it is kind of composite, but it's not carbon fiber like the flight design was. Uh, as you can see, it does have some fiberglass componentry to it, but if you look at the wings, they're fabric covered and use more conventional interior. There is a welded fuselage inside. You can see what the Europeans call a space frame or a uh, steel, welded steel cage inside, and that's what provides a lot of the basic structure. And then uh, strut braced as opposed to cantilevered and uh, fabric covered surfaces on the tail and uh, empennage as well. Now, again, control system wise, what kind of controls are we using? Well, as opposed to discrete flaps and ailerons, this one uses, you can look underneath the wing here and you'll see that it has what we call flapperons. And they adjust for flap application or when not in flap deployed, they're a very normal aileron. When the flaps are deployed, you lose a little bit of aileron deflection, but not much in the way of control. It's been nicely optimized for good control characteristics. Now, on the Kit Fox, uh, it had folding wings. Does this have that adaptability as well? Yeah, the Kit Fox, most of the Kit Fox line have uh, retained that, and this one does as well. It has uh, foldable wings, uh, which is a, a feature that appeals to a lot of people at purchase, although, honestly, most of them rarely fold the wings once they get them. Now, is it uh, side by seat, side seating? Side by side seating, this one is. It uses conventional control stick and rudder pedal application. Now, we're looking at a tricycle gear here. Is it also available as a tail dryer? Uh, this particular one has been made as a uh, tail dragger as well, and it is available that way, but I believe they're promoting the uh, tri-gear primarily. Most American pilots are really geared toward tri-gear use. And what kind of power are we uh, using on this? This one also uses the Rotax 100S, uh, 100, uh, 912S 100 horsepower engine. And performance, what kind of performance would they get out of that? Well, it's a little slower than the CT because it's a, a little uh, less smooth without all of the graceful lines of a carbon fiber model, but it'll cruise along at about 110 miles an hour easily all day long. If somebody wanted to get more information on this, uh, have you got a website for the uh, uh, manufacturer? Yes, it's uh, ApolloNorthAmerica.com. And do you have information on this on your site as well, Doc? And I have information on uh, my site uh, on this airplane as well, and that is at bydanjohnson.com. That's bydanjohnson.com.